Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make that easy and quick effect you see in the thumbnail. So starting off, I have a color fill that I made just by clicking here and select solid color. Then you can choose the color and then I have a paper texture and a grainy one. Uh, but we're going to get rid of those for now. Start off with the type tool and write your text. Command T to transform. I'm going to make it pretty big. I'm going to hold down the command key, click on one of these dots to distort it a bit. When I'm happy with it, I'm just going to go with enter. The cool thing is it's still text, so I can still change the color of it. I'm going to go with white. Next, double click over here on your text layer, and you're going to add a drop shadow. If you don't see it here in your drop menu, just click on the effects and you should see it over here. Anyways, just add a drop shadow and you can choose the direction of your shadow, the opacity, I'm going to go with fully opaque, and the distance between the shadow and your text. I'm going to go with something, something like 45 and press OK. I'm then going to add a new layer underneath my text. And I'm just going to go in with the pen tool for now and fix these shadows. So I'm going to go with something like this to here, kind of like that, to create a fill. Oops. Right. Go with selection, press OK then grab your brush tool, select the color of your shadow, mine is black, so that's why I'm going with black, and just paint in the red remaining parts. Um, you can also just brush the parts in if you don't want to be like exactly super precise, but I'm just going to basically select the parts that I want to fill in. Selection, and I'm going to brush it in. Um, if you choose a soft, I mean hard and round brush, you can just go in, if you can make straight lines, I guess, that's also going to be fine. And just fix your shadow. Um, it's really quicker in Illustrator, I guess, but we're doing this in Photoshop entirely, so it'll take a, a little bit longer, just a tiny bit. It's not that long. I'm going to add one here as well. Do something like this. It's okay if it's not exactly precise. You can always go back and erase the parts that you don't want. I'm going to make this quick just for the sake of the video. I usually go ahead with the selection option just because it's more precise. I'm going to go in with my eraser. I'm going to choose a hard round one and just delete the extra parts like this. Um, this part, I'm going to make, try and make my lines smoother. And uh, our last corner over here. That's basically it. It's really easy, um, really cool. You can overlay some cool textures on top of it. Um, and some half tones if you want to as well and maybe just set the half tone to just go on top of your text by adding a clipping mask to it that's by just clicking holding down the alt or option key and just click when you see this arrow with that box around it um and yeah that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please leave a comment and subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to comment what if you have like any tutorial requests, um, that's totally fine. You can just write them up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.